Hi, Steve Foster here with Legends of the Highway. I'd like to invite you to subscribe to our channel, hit the like button if you like what you see. Just know we've got a lot of really cool content coming, interesting cars, exotic cars, performance cars, home builds, you name it, Legends of the Highway is the place to go for the enthusiast. Hey, Steve Foster here with Legends of the Highway. Today we're taking a tour of a collector garage in Orange County, California. It's at the Finish Line Auto Club facility where collectors can buy their individual garages and customize them to their taste. And this one is a particularly nice example and we'll be taking a quick tour of it. So if we look down into the main part of the collector garage, you'll see that this individual has some wonderful examples of Ferrari Boxster, a Testarossa, in the corner back there, a Dino. There's a wonderful F40 over there against the wall. Of course, he's a collector of various interests as evidenced by the Carrera GT, an early MG which has a kind of a sentimental story that goes along with his family history and so forth. A very rare Aston Martin Super Ligara. And as we come downstairs, we'll look back into the back part and see additional cars and memorabilia. So here's a closer look at the F40. Uh, this is one of my favorites, if not my favorite in this gentleman's collection. It's one of the last uh, supercars that Enzo had a hand in. Very raw, beautiful car, fantastic performance, and I think the design has held up well over time. I do like the uh, 308, of course, too. That's kind of an iconic Ferrari. Uh, here at Legends, we have a Ferrari 308 GTB, and it's just a phenomenally fun and reliable car. If we kind of take a look in the back, a little tool area here for some light uh, mechanic work as needed on the vehicles. Very cool early Corvette, one of the first Corvettes produced. Down below, he's got a, a wonderful, I believe it's a 63 or four Corvette convertible, factory knockoff, Porsches, 356, a 911 hot rod, it's got a modified motor, some other suspension bits. And then down at the end, you'll see a 246 Dino, which has been in his family for a number of years. And then let's take a look over here at some of this memorabilia. These are Vintage steering wheels, these aren't modern ones. The old Racemark steering wheel, which of course was designed by Mark Donahue and Roger Penske back when they were running the Racemark uh, company that was providing race products, thus the name Racemark. Here's a uh, carbon fiber uh, brake rotor off one of the Ferrari Challenge cars. A real Ferrari F1 steering wheel. You know, wooden, I believe that's another Racemark wheel. And then a original Ferrari uh, Nardi wheel. So it's kind of a cool way to take a pole that's uninteresting and add some cool car artifacts. Take a look up here, there's some neat memorabilia, Ferrari skateboard, scale model of a Ferrari GTO engine, uh, some other cool little deals. Of course, since he's a super Ferrari collector, here's the model wearing Ferrari attire, Ferrari luggage for his F40, that's a factory luggage kit. And even over here, let's take a look into the uh, restroom. So the details are evident everywhere you look in this garage. I mean, look at the mirror. The mirror is cut out into the shape of a very well-known racetrack. So to your enthusiasts out there, how many know what track this is? So if you look at the overall aesthetics of this garage, I mean, it's obviously been put together by somebody that took the time and sweated the details and knew what they were doing. And the main designer of this garage was Connie Summers, and we featured her 906 in one of the other episodes of Legends of the Highway. As we move into this part of the garage, he set up a wonderful bar with custom aluminum tiles. He's got uh, some Ferrari memorabilia. He's got some lamps that are custom made by a, a craftsman out of a piston and connecting rod. Uh, over here underneath the exhaust vent for the grill, there's an actual tile, which is one of the tiles that's used at the Ferrari factory. And these are very difficult to come by these days. And he had that incorporated into the backsplash for uh, the grill. A Ferrari themed surfboard, Ferrari pillow. So this gentleman obviously is a Ferrari enthusiast as well as other cars that he has in his collection, but his main collection is Ferrari's vintage and modern. Over here in his lounge, it's a great place to sit and watch F1 races, Forza Ferrari. Uh, there's images on the wall from some of our local photographers, nice little fireplace, and come on over here into his office. In the office here, we've got the actual nose piece from one of the Ferrari P3s used in the movie Ford versus Ferrari. Uh, he uses this, had a custom desk made out of the Ferrari nose piece, which is I'm sure the only one in the world. And if you look over here, some really cool Ferrari memorabilia, a scratch built model of a Ferrari F1 car, some other Ferrari collectibles, 
So just another thing that I wanted to point out is if you look at the uh, wall back there, you'll see a, a painting of a Ferrari Challenge car owned by the collector that put this garage together. So that was something that we at Legends of the Highway painted. It's about seven foot long and mounted it onto the wall and painted uh, the backdrop. And I think it's a 75 foot wall. And that's a kind of a graphic interpretation of Coda, the Circuit of the Americas, which is where the gentleman that owns that Ferrari runs his car. And he's also the one that owns this fantastic collector garage. Thanks for watching this episode of Legends of the Highway. I hope you've enjoyed this tour of this famous Orange County facility finish line and the individual collector here. Thanks.